To kick off day three, game eight of the tournament would see Shelton State take on Wabash Valley, and the fireworks show started early on this Memorial Day. For Jordan Evans gets on base with a single, Zeke Bishop comes in, and on the second pitch he sees, he gets all of it and puts the Buccaneers up early with a two-run home run. A few batters later, still in the top of the first, designated hitter Reese Collins would also get on top of one and put another two-run homer on the board. Shelton State bringing their own fireworks show. The Bucks go up 4-0 now. Wabush would struggle to find their footing defensively as they would get caught off guard as batter Tyler Thomason gets on base with a bunt. That would bring home Zeke Bishop in the third. Buccaneers now up 5-0. But the Warriors, they were not going down without a fight. In the fourth, third baseman Mac Mitchell gets a single to bring home Nicholas Williams. In the same inning, the Warriors continue their attack as Dalton Fivish smacks one over the second baseman. That brings home Mac Mitchell for an RBI double, 5-2 to two now. Immediately after, Daniel Contreras sends one into deep left, giving himself an RBI double, and his team is fired up about that. That brings us to the play of the day, brought to you by Qdoba. The Bucks pitcher, Vale, gets the ground ball he was looking for, but it's hit just out of his reach. Bishop fields it, flips it over to Perez for out number one, and then Perez fires and gets his man at first for the inning-ending double play. Agnel Miranda in the sixth inning with a runner on, getting into a groove as he would close out the inning, striking out the catcher, Whit Winfield. In the seventh, Nicholas Williams kickstarts the Warriors' comeback as he hits one in the left field, driving in a run and getting to second. Warriors down 5-4. Right after that, Bruce Jellison hits a bloop out to right field, driving in another run to tie the game at 5-all. Mac Mitchell up again, and he smacks a ball into center field that's deep enough for a sack fly. With that, the Warriors take the lead at 6-5. And that would be the last run put up in this game. Shelton with the one last chance. Kyle Morrison pops the ball up into the infield, and Dalton Fivish will get under it to seal that one for Wabish at a final of 6-5. Yeah, I mean, that's the way we've been all year. We've, uh... We've dug ourselves holes, and we just we don't roll over. We, we keep fighting. We don't give up, and, uh, you know, it's whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to find a way to win, and it seems like these guys just keep doing it. You know, I tell them all the time, something bad's going to happen, and how are you going to respond? And these guys just keep responding. We fought the whole game, and somebody had to win.